Hi guys, Darth Naga here and with another episode of Full Steam Ahead behind me you can see the vaping lounge uh, in Gosport on the High Street, 19 the High Street and I thought I'd come down here, have a chat with the owner and see what's cracking. Alright, come inside with me. Okay, here we are at the vaping lounge, as you can see on the wall there. And what have we got? We've got a case full of tanks there. We've got another case over here full of all sorts of juice. And over here, we've got a case full of mods. Amazing. Plenty of couches, plenty of places to sit. There's a bloody coffee machine over there in the corner all these couches, loads of juice, and there's the manager and owner, Glenn. How can I help? You all right, Glenn? How's it going? Yeah, pretty good, mate, pretty good. Excellent. You got five minutes for a chat? Not a problem. Awesome, let's go and do that then. Let's do it. Hi guys, it's Darth Naga here with another episode of Full Steam Ahead, as I've already mentioned, and I'm here now with Glenn Root, the uh, owner and manager of the Vaping Lounge in Gosport. You all right, Glenn? How's it going? Yeah, good to see you, fella, good, good to see you. So, I know you guys have only been open a few weeks here, um, but you're very, very, word is spreading very quickly, Correct. and you're slowly becoming one of the most popular vape shops on the south coast. Why do you think that is? I think, to be honest, the approach that we've given, uh, that we've started off with, is we went through a number of vape shops, visited numerous, numerous vape shops um, right. around the south coast, and with a tick box of what was missing, and we found the key thing was basic customer service, spend a bit of time with the customer, actually making them feel valued and welcome, um, and despite whether their knowledge is embryonic or whether it's a knowledge from you know, years and years of vaping and they're into their mech mods and unregulated stuff as well. We class everybody as exactly the same, there's no preference and we want to make everybody welcome and that's what we found was missing a little bit, so that's what we really went for. That's good. So what you basically explained to me there is your ethos as a company. You're, you're very much focused on <coughs> customer service Absolutely. and making sure that when the customer walks in the door, almost, almost like cheers, I suppose, they come as a customer, they leave as a friend. That's right. So you, you show them absolutely everything. I mean, I know you had a, I mentioned it in, I mentioned it in my Glory Glaze review, um, that you had a coil building night here last night. That's right. Now I understand you open late on a Thursday night. What, what, what do you reckon is going to be happening going forward on those Thursday nights? Going forward, I mean, we've barely scratched the surface with the coil building aspect of it. Um, what, what that's done is giving people an eye open into, into the next step, perhaps, in, in vaping, you know, with, with, the, uh, with the various different tanks. And if they want to make that next step up, great. You know, we start from basics and we can work our way all the way through. Um, but even if it's just people are standing on the sidelines, just having a look and just to satisfy a bit of intrigue, really. Uh, but uh, with the Thursday nights, the list is endless. Um, next Thursday, we're hoping to get a, uh, a gaming night, retro gaming night up together. We've got guys across the road who are going to supply a SNES, N64, GoldenEye, Mario Kart. Nice. All of that sort of thing. So we're going to have a few that. competitions. <laughs> um, quiz nights, poker nights, maybe some comedy. The list is endless. And we're always on the lookout for ideas. And we're always open to ideas from people as well. So get in touch. Yeah, and, uh, we're, more, we're more than happy. What I'll do is I'll put a link below, again, like I have on the Glory Glaze review, I'll put a link below to the Facebook group. Join that, and these guys are always open to good suggestions and things like that, and they put up polls and stuff like that. You'll see Pom in the background there, just running parts. Um, and they, they always put up polls and stuff so people can decide what's going to happen here. And they're really, really open to customer suggestion. That's one thing I have noticed, That's why it. I like you guys so much. Um, okay, so let's get back to basics now because I've asked, I've asked the important questions that people usually want to know. Let me ask you, why the vapor lounge? What we found in a lot of shops when we were doing our, our, our research was you find yourself going into a vaping shop and you're there for maybe a couple of minutes, trying a few juices and then you start to get a bit clouded out, you get a few more people in the shop, you start to feel a little bit uncomfortable and that you're taking up too much time. The lounge You've seen the space, you know, we can, even on a busy Saturday or a busy day, you know, we'll acknowledge you as you walk through the door, take a seat, we'll be with you in a couple of minutes. So those basic elements of customer service that we're working on that come from my background in the pub trade, uh, worked with, uh, worked in care with people with learning disabilities, challenge behaviour, so I'm very person-centred. 
and that comes across with our ethos with the uh, with the vaping lounge as well. Everybody's welcome, you know. And like I say, no matter how busy we are, we've always got time for people. Whether it's sitting down, trying some juices, or running through a new setup, anything along those lines, we're always going to be appropriately staffed to spend that time with the customer to make sure that we get it right the first time. And that's really our key tagline at the moment: is getting it right the first time, so you feel happy after leaving, and you feel happy coming back as well. Awesome. So, how long how long has the vaping lounge been? Because obviously it's your baby, so it's like this is the first one of. of what I because from our chat the other day, it's the first one of hopefully many in the future. Correct. Um, so, but, but what made you? I mean, you, you chose Gosport particularly. So, what I mean, what made you choose Gosport and decide to bring one here? Having spent the best part of 13 odd years in Gosport now, and uh, my wife being a Gosport girl herself now, uh, it's again identifying a need and. The location was perfect, um, it just so happened, it, it was more of a coincidence of timing, this place came available and it was just too much of a good an opportunity to miss. And um, if, if you go onto the uh, Vapor Lounge web, uh, Facebook page, you'll see a load of pictures of what it was before, we had to knock a load of walls yeah, down. I was going to say, I was going to say, I, I did see that, was there a wall from literally that bit there across? Yep, literally across here, it was yeah. in three sections, so the section that we're in here, this was uh, sort of rookies, right. and we had a corridor across the back there. And then this bit was a uh, fruit machines, so we had to knock the walls down, an Axminster carpet, all the other labels stacked up to take all that up, put the flooring down, deck everything out, three weeks. Job done. Three weeks? Jesus, that's bloody quick, man. That must have taken some seriously hard work. And then you've been here almost every day since as well. Yeah, living and, living and breathing. That's it, that's it. So it's, it very much becomes your, your life, doesn't it, doing something like this. So, um, so, okay, so I know you guys cover all the sorts of vapors. I mean, uh, young Pom, who you might see in the background there, he's um, he's their resident coil guy. He, he, he uh, a friend of mine came in the other day and he helped actually build his coils in his, um, in his new setup. So you guys are very much, you, you guys literally came, I mean, I've seen you've got starter kits, you've also got advanced stuff. And I assume, I don't know if I've actually seen them or I'm going blind, but I assume you'll be having medicine and things like yep. that in time as well. So you literally cover all the bases. That's right. And I mean, my knowledge personally from starter kits through to the high end uh, regulated stuff is what I'm comfortable with. Uh, with, with the mech side of things, I will never, ever, ever buy something to put or buy something to sell, which I don't know enough about, right. which is why we got Pom on board. To, Cover that, cover that range. Um, like I say, any questions about coils, any questions about coil building, wicking, unregulated stuff. See our man behind the counter there. There's nothing he doesn't know. That's it. That's uh, I don't know if you can see him actually. I think he's stuck down behind the counter. There he is. That's young Pom there from unregulated reviews. I tell you what, I'll do him a little favour. I'll put a, I'll put a little thing across there to the unregulated reviews uh, YouTube page because uh, they've got a review channel as well. Uh, all right. <laughs> So yeah, so they've employed um, Pom from Unregulated Reviews to actually do all their coils and stuff. And to be fair, he's, he's pretty good at customer service as well as I'm Of course I am. <laughs> of course um, okay, so we've talked about we've talked about the range of people you cover, literally from, from starters to the to the to the high end stuff. The other question I've got, apart from obviously all the stuff you've stopped, juice. Now you cover again. You cover all sorts of juice. You cover standard stuff, but you also have some lovely high-end premium juice as well. What what is your own brand line here? But also, what's your favourite one? Our own brand line is the VW, the Vaping Warehouse line. Uh, they're ten more bottles, three ninety-five each, or three for ten pounds. Is that all the the uh, second shelf down? Oh, I see. Yeah. All of those may come from range of custody custards to puddings to fruits, menthol. And what we're finding with those is they're really good on the um, on the starter side of things. Uh, we've got a good range of uh, tobacco flavors as well to help the guys really get the, get the, get the tobacco feel from the coming off the cigarettes. Right. Uh, but again, menthol side of things as well for that that uh, the hit that people are after when they're coming off smoking. Um, so and a lot of those juices have actually been compared to some premium juices. There, you'll, you'll you'll find in some places the house juice isn't particularly to no. stand up compared or to stand up against the other juices that they have. We feel. That, that standard of juice stands up against all the premium juices that we've got in as well. Right. 
My favourite juice at the moment. Uh, yeah. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Put you on the spot there. Yeah. At the moment, and then we've got a lovely gingerbread custard. Um, it's the Heidi Heisberg Fetish Gourmet Elixir range. That'll be on your, on your shirt there. There you go. Yeah. Fetish Gourmet Elixirs. And um, they're all the lovely black bottles at the back there, aren't that's they? That's right. Yeah, with that's the foil right. labels. And uh, just, just the entire range is absolutely superb. Um, you know, ranging again from custards to sweets to fruits Pretty to menthol good. to aniseed. Do you like coffee? And it is really hard at the moment. I'm trying hard to pinpoint one, which I really, really my go-to. Um, and I think mine and my wife's go-to at the moment is Patty Baker's um, blueberry and apple crumble. Oh, okay. It's a superb blueberry. Really, really nice subtle on the apple, and the crumble is really, really nice as well. To give that a go, actually. So, um, worth giving that a go, I think. Um, to be honest, Glenn, I think that's about it. I think we've covered everything about the vaping lounge. Um, they are on Gosport High Street, so basically if you if you walk straight down Gosport High Street, depending on which end you come from, it's literally right next to the right bank. So, uh, big massive signs outside saying vaping lounge. Uh, I'll put the address up here, 19 High Street, just in case. Um, but it's absolutely fantastic. I think you've got a really good sort of spot here and it stands out massively. I mean, you can literally see it right down the high street. As you get off the ferry down, down the other end yeah, there, you uh, can see the signs. There's a night start coming in when the lights are on as well. You can see us literally just step on the ferry. So, you can't so if you want to come in, I mean, all the juices are available for sampling, aren't they, as well? Right. So come, come down here. They're uber friendly, so, so friendly here. And they're always happy to help. You can try your juice, they'll help you get, if you're just starting to quit, they'll help you get set up. If you're more advanced, they'll be able to tell you the sort of, you know, the sort of things that go well in your dripper and all that sort of thing. So definitely worth coming down here. Uh, and I'm, on, I'm, I'm in the understanding that your range is also going to slowly increase as yep, well. Yeah, there's, there's a couple more lines to come in. Right. Um, we've got Attitude Bake coming in okay. uh, reasonably okay. soon. Um, and a couple more of the Patty Baker's ranges are being worked on at the moment. Wicked. So, literally, uh, the vaping lounge in Gosport is your one-stop shop for everything vaping because they literally cover everything. Rebuilding, uh, stock coils, juice, well not mechs yet, but regulators come on, starter kits, yeah, the mechs are coming, tanks, just everything. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I've been here a few times now and I've felt welcomed every time. And the other thing that we didn't even mention, the coffee machine. Of course. Come down here, two quid for a brew. Beats your piss out of your Starbucks and all that shit. And it's better quality. And it's better quality, yeah. And and you can have a vape when you're doing it. It's like a vape cafe almost. It's mad. And it's just amazing. I love hanging out here. Uh, I've done it enough times. <laughs> so, yeah. Get on down to the vaping lounge in Gosport. Thanks very much for your time, Glenn. You're welcome. And, uh, yeah. That's it, really. If you like what you've seen, like, share, and subscribe using the button above. And that's it, really. <coughs> Uh, until next time, my little vapists. Toot toot, motherfuckers. Toot toot.